If you've seen our god, Jeff Goldblum, in the Netflix TV show, you would have heard of chaos. And not just because it's the name of the show, but because it's the thing that's been prophesied that Zeus fears most. But why is the almighty Zeus so afraid? Today, we're exploring a primordial force that existed before the gods, before time itself, chaos. So, let's uncover who this deity really is, why the Olympians are so terrified of her arrival, and how chaos might portray this ancient myth in modern times for season two. So, who is chaos? In Greek mythology, chaos isn't a deity in the traditional sense, but rather the personification of the primordial void, an endless, formless state that existed before everything. She was the beginning, the mother of the cosmos, giving rise to the first generation of gods and creatures. From chaos came Nyx, aka Night, Erebus, aka Darkness, and eventually Gaia, a little someone also known as Mother Earth, and Uranus, aka Sky. I'm sure we shall talk more about these deities in a later video. Chaos isn't just the void, but the potential within that void, the birthplace of everything and nothing at the same time. Think about it. Before the Olympians, before even the Titans, Chaos was the primordial soup from which everything sprang. This makes her existence both awe-inspiring and terrifying to the gods who came after. She represents what is unknown, uncontrollable, and unlimited, the very things the gods, especially Zeus, fear the most. Now, let's talk about Chaos, Netflix's take on Greek mythology. The show reimagines many of the classic figures, Zeus, Poseidon, Hera, Hades, Medusa, and more, but with a modern, dark twist. Anyone else noticed the swan picture in the back? Cracked me up. Anyway, other than the brilliant music, one of the most intriguing elements of the show is the prophecy of Chaos's return. A line appears, the order wanes, the family falls, and Chaos reigns. In Chaos, Zeus and the other gods are not just powerful beings, but flawed and insecure. Zeus is an almighty god and a super asshole, aware of the prophecy, his mental health and the health of those around him ultimately suffers when he sees a wrinkle on his face. A line appears. Zeus is shown to be paranoid about losing his grip on power. While in traditional mythology, Zeus maintains order through sheer dominance. Chaos explores how the return of a force like Chaos, a being so primordial that even the gods can't comprehend or control her, could spell the end of the family's reign. Why is Zeus so scared of Chaos? To understand this, we need to look at Zeus's history. He didn't come to power peacefully. He overthrew his father, Cronus, in the Titanomachy, a brutal war between the Olympians and the Titans. The show goes into how Zeus absorbed some of Cronus's power-hungry persona. Cronus had overthrown Uranus, Zeus's grandfather, so Zeus knows that the cycle of overthrowing divine rulers is very much part of his legacy. Enter Chaos, a force more ancient than even the Titans. Chaos represents a power beyond Zeus's control, something he can't simply strike down with his lightning bolts or put in shackles like poor Prometheus. Chaos is the raw power of creation and destruction, the kind of power that existed before Zeus's orderly rule. She threatens not just Zeus's reign, but the entire Olympian order, representing a return to the primordial state where gods, mortals, and even the universe as we know it could be consumed back into the void. A great reset. What can we expect from Chaos Season 2? Although a second season hasn't been ordered, there is no way Netflix can leave us hanging on this one. In traditional mythology, chaos is somewhat of a passive force, a void that gave rise to creation, but didn't directly intervene in the affairs of gods or mortals. However, in chaos, the show could give her a more active role, as a mysterious yet powerful figure capable of reshaping everything. Her anticipated presence hints at upheaval, disorder, and the potential end of the Olympian reign. Chaos's return adds a layer of cosmic horror to the show, highlighting that even gods have their limits. But, with Zeus's vile temper and need for constant sacrifice, could total chaos bring a better world? What I love about this interpretation is that it takes the untouchable myth and makes it a tangible, looming threat. In recent years, there's been a resurgence in mythological storytelling. 
with shows like American Gods and now Chaos reinterpreting ancient deities in modern times. These modern versions ask, what would happen if these mythic beings had to face the unpredictability and instability that we live with today? Chaos becomes a perfect metaphor for the uncertainties of our age. So there you have it, Chaos, the ancient goddess of the void, the mother of all creation, and the one force that could bring down even the mighty Zeus. In Netflix's Chaos, she is about to take on a terrifying new role, embodying both ancient fear and modern anxiety. As we watch the gods tremble in the face of this unstoppable force, we're reminded that Chaos is as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. Until next time, witches, embrace the chaos, but don't let it consume you. If you enjoyed this dive into the void, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about Netflix's chaos, and what do you hope to see in season 2? Fingers crossed for more Medusa, and let's hope Riddy gets on well convincing people about the secrets of renewal.